This is Andrew Stotts of A Stotts Investment Research talking about world class benchmarking for the company PT Kaobi Pharma in Indonesia. Let's take a look at this company. First of all, the background PT Kaobi Pharma is an Indonesia based pharmaceutical company. It manages an extensive portfolio of prescription pharmaceuticals and OTC drugs, energy drinks, and nutrition products, as well as a distribution arm serving more than 1 million outlets. The company also operates in Southeast Asia, Nigeria, and South Africa. Let's take a look at the company in more detail. KLBF is the ticker code. The market cap is about 5.2 billion US dollars with $4 million of average daily turnover. It's in the healthcare sector and the industry is pharmaceuticals, biotechnology, and life sciences. Let's take a look at what's going on with the company. KLBF is a health and nutrition and pharmaceuticals business. It has joint ventures with companies such as Blackmore's and GeneZine. And the business is divided into four divisions. Distribution and logistics has reached more than a million outlets. It includes the distribution of med medical devices and local and international companies uh, from them and sells them to hospitals and clinics throughout Indonesia. Nutritional segment caters to all ages, from infants to adults, expectant and lactating mothers, elderly, as well as consumers with special medical needs. Its top products include a morning aga, which is a milk for kids, and a diabetes product also. Prescription Pharmaceuticals offers a complete product range from unbranded generic drugs and branded generics to licensed drugs. Consumer health segment offers over-the-counter drugs with therapeutic benefits, consumer health products, as well as energy drinks and healthy, ready-to-drink products. Top goods in the segment include extra jaws, energy drink, and ready-to-drink hydro cocoa. Let's look at the company's revenue breakdown by division for 2015. Distribution and logistics, 30% of revenue. Nutritionals, 29% and prescription pharmaceuticals 24 and finally consumer health 17. The domestic market is where 95 percent of the sales are and with a tiny bit of exports. So how does this company look on a world-class benchmarking? Well let's start by looking at the president commissioner or similar to what we would call a director Johannes Sedijono and he's been there since 2008 and then we have the president director, also since 2008, Bernadette Ruth Irrawaddy Setiadi. And let's see how the performance has gone for Miss Bernadette Ruth. Well, we can say it is fantastic. Profitable growth has been basically world class, one or two in our profitable growth score for a long time. This company is stable and in the top 33 of the large healthcare companies globally. Now, what's driving this performance? Profitability has been world class since 2012. Growth has fallen since 2014. So it's really profitability that's been driving it. Now, where is that strength? Well, profit margin and asset utilization both together drive the profitability of the company. And what we can see is that sales and margin change are both poor. Sales growth at seven, margin change at eight. So overall, a top line, excellent performance. But the weakness is in growth. That could be the focus area. Sign up for our newsletter and become a founding member at becomeabetterinvestor.net slash join. Founding member subscriptions will close on the 31st of December, 2016.